everyone, it's Kelly the Traveling Sharpener and this is Kitchen Cutlery 101 Storage. Today we're going to talk about all the different types of ways you can store your cutlery and scissors. Um, depending on the setup of your kitchen, you might have more counter space, you might have some more drawer space, or wall space might be an option too. Um, so we're going to talk about the different ways we're going to start with. If you have a little less counter space and a little bit more drawer space, you might find that some in-drawer storage might be your best option. We do have a knife in-drawer blocks. They come in wood colors, they come in plastic. They're kind of like your little cutlery trays, except for they've got the little slots in here so you can store paring knives and chef's knives. Um, there's even a slot here for your um, honing steel. And also, if you just throw them in your drawer kind of haphazardly, it's still nice to have something on your knives. Um, so they have plastic sheaths and cardboard sheaths, um, which just protect that edge of your knife so they don't get all scratched up and um, dull really quickly on you. So those are a great option as well. Um, and now to the other side of that, if you have more counter space, you have nice room for that. Um, we have some nice decorative pieces here, um, like your knife blocks. They come in different designs and patterns. This one's a little bit more unique. Um, and I also know like Boda makes a, a Kind of a block with little sticks in it so instead of having separate slots for each knife you kind of just stick them in and the little sticks kind of move around the knife so they can kind of be wherever in the block um, which those are really nice and then um, lastly if you don't have a lot of counter space you don't have a lot of drawer space we also have these really nifty um, magnetic strips that you can mount to your wall and then it just keeps them up off the counter but still looks really, really nice. Um, you can see the knives hang on there really tightly because there's lots of good magnetic materials in, in your knives. Unfortunately, these aren't gonna work for um, like a ceramic steel, which is my only frustration with them, but I just throw that in my drawer with everything else. But these are really nice. Um, and I do recommend if you're gonna go this route, look for something where like the metal on the bar is covered up um, they even make wood ones, which are even better. I know Epicurean makes a wood um, fiber magnetic strip, which is really nice because then you're not scraping your blade on the metal like this one does. Um, last but not least, we do have, those of you who work in kitchens, of course you'll know the knife bag. Um, if you work in the cooking industry, you also cook at home, you like to bring your knives with you, so you have your good quality knives with you wherever you go. This also makes a really good option. These come in all different shapes and sizes and um, you know, all the way up to 50 pieces that some of these can hold. So these are a really great option too. Thank you so much for watching. This is another episode of Kitchen Cutlery 101. Have a great rest of your day.